Hello, everyone. It's Dream, your K-Verdian queen. It's Rick, the negotiator. And this is Ray Daniels, a.k.a. the Culture Referee. And this is the Culture Report. Let's go. And today, you know, I love to have guests. Today, I have my bro. I just did his show. We just had an amazing conversation. I was like, bro, Jay, you got to come sit on the Culture Report. And he pulled up. Shout out to his partner right there, Joe. <coughs> I remember it. Joe and Jay. Shout out to his partner, but... Welcome, Jay Hill, everybody. Let's welcome welcome you. Oh, Appreciate you, bro. So, Jay, on, this is the Culture Report. Uh, all we're doing here is really just talk shit about subjects and matters and things of that nature. Shout out to our sponsors. Shout out to Tote and Carry. Shout out to Yoko Vaca. And also, shout out to Two Loss Distribution. And now, let's get into the show. Well, let's get into it. I just want to say, how was everybody's Memorial Day weekend? Lit. Y'all had a good time? Everybody yeah, was lit? Yeah, it was lit. Yeah, it's, it was Memorial Day weekend. It's the beginning of your favorite sign, Gemini season. Gang, 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 so I gang, wanted gang, to start gang. off by some of, the, oh. some of y'all favorite Geminis. So we got Tupac, Biggie, Prince, Kanye, Lauren Hill, Patti LaBelle, Kendrick Lamar. Damn, they all Geminis? That's a hell of a Lionel list. Lionel Richie, Gunna, Pac, Jada Kiss, and Big Andre 3000. Lauren Hill. And Jay Hill. And, and Jay Hill. Hill. Hey. Hey. And Jay Hill. Yes. So, yes, I just wanted to get that off, off my chest because, you know, I'm a Gemini. My birthday is Thursday, so I'm going to be waiting for all my gifts from y'all. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like so, Gemini is one of the few signs that, like, we all love each other. Like We do. I, I, I was hoping because you were the most hated. Yeah. We're the most hated, so it's like we got to Is that together. warranted, though? Nope. Like, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel no. I don't think Virgos are the most hated. Mm, no, y'all think y'all the best. Scorpios are the most hated. Scorpio hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's between Scorpio and Gemini. Scorpios and Geminis are the most hated signs. That's, That's exactly why I created a podcast. Why? Like, why? Because <laughs> my, my, <laughs> my lady was, is, a, is a Scorpio, oh. so like, yeah. So. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Those two. Those two signs, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Scorpios and Geminis are the <laughs> You motherfuckers. That's a crazy sign. God was like, I'm showing out today. Oh, I can't wait. It's my season. I'm showing out. I can't live without us. End of the season. Can't live without us. So, so, so what we got, Dream? So, Andre 3000, he performed this weekend, one of my fellow Geminis, at the jazz festival. He was playing the flute. <laughs> yes, he was playing the flute at the jazz festival. What y'all think about that? <laughs> what is the what? <laughs> okay, so, I think Andre is... Probably the most gifted rapper from the South, from Atlanta. Yeah. I think we, I think everybody yeah. in Atlanta will agree. To that. I agree with that. Um, and I think that him being gifted and the flute being one of his gifts, I, I want to celebrate that. Yeah, I think that was very um, talented. I don't think we give a fuck about nobody blowing the flute. I agree <laughs> with that too. It's not him for sure. And I, I th and by the way, let's. Kill, I think people are sitting back. Praying that he just comes out and says, "Yes, sir. Uh, let me dig into your brain." I, it's not gonna happen, y'all. <laughs> He's not gonna do that, guys. Like I, w I went to the flute show in, you did. yeah, yeah, not the, not the Atlanta Jazz Festival, but the one that he did at, uh, no, not the Fox, no, 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 um, Center Stage. And you know, you were just in there, and it was like every time he stopped blowing, somebody would be like, "Man, rap a verse." <laughs> <laughs> like dog. I, I mean, I don't. What y'all think? When I saw it, I just was like, man, this is some bullshit. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Gemini. <laughs> so, <laughs> Gemini. Come on, uh, Gemini. You know, I mean, if you want to be technical, I'm thinking about it. I feel like that's a Gemini thing, though. Yeah, that's a Gemini thing to do. If you think about Kanye West, right? Like when Kanye West first came to the game, producing, a lot of people said he couldn't. You, you can't be a rapper. So it's yeah. like, man, I'm going to be a rapper. Right. And then he got into the fashion. Everybody's saying, you can't, you can't do this. Then he started going harder and harder, right? And it's like you go so hard at things that you start to become crazy. Yeah. Not saying that Andre 3000 yeah. is, is crazy, but it's like you're so good at things, you kind of like want to try other things because you want the world to see all of your talents. But right. if he's not Andre 3000, mm -hmm. do we care? No. But that's not true. But think about it. That's why I said Kanye West. That's why, exactly why I brought no, no, Kanye no, no. West. No, I, no, I agree because with you. At one point of time, right, all of the fashion designers wasn't like, bro, we don't care about this. That's what they were saying. And he he made us care about Adidas. Yeah. At one point of time when nobody gave a well, I mean I like this Gemini back, energy. Yeah. I like this back Gemini in the day, energy. You get what I'm saying? Like we cared about I guess y'all cared about Adidas. I don't know. Like, I mean, we ain't never really cared about Adidas. <laughs> Kanye West came around, right. we care about Adidas. Shit, even the time where he made the red Octo Octobers and Nikes, right? Yeah. So like even even that, so I could understand 
People might be like, man, we don't care about this flu shit. He's like, yeah, I'm going to make you care. Or he probably don't even care that we don't care. He yeah. does it. He does it. He does it. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's making money playing the flute, my nigga. Like, life is good right now. I just don't understand the music. Like, are we, like, is there like a peak in it? Where it's like, oh. I had to. It's like, oh shit, he's peaking. I was like, like, is that Nobody part? understands it. The truth is, look, Andre, he's earned the right to do whatever the hell he wants. He's a phenomenal artist. But we don't care about no damn flute. Let's just call it what it is, man. <laughs> it's cute. We see you doing it. You got this flute and his Jordan 3s and his overalls on. Yeah, he's doing the Andre 3000 thing, but we, we, we really don't care. Yeah, I don't care. We care about him, but we really don't care I about the flute. it would have been cool if it would just been like a hobby type scenario. How, how we know it ain't? Yeah. Right, we don't know that. No, what I'm saying, the way he's promoted, like... Is he really promoting it? Um, yeah. yeah. Or is he just performing... I mean, put like this. I think this is his new gig. I, 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 in, in, in our terms, he's on brand and all the he stuff that he's doing brand. with his flute. He is he's on brand, brand he's with on everything. Brand. He is on brand. He's on brand with it. Oh my God, he's so on he's brand. He's so on brand with it. He's probably the it's only like, one who could get away with it. But, that, but the fact that he's on brand with it, that's what we're talking about. But hold on, let's yeah. be clear. I just think we stumbled on something. Mm. Geminis, y'all get away with shit most people can't get away with. Yeah, you know why? Because we so Why is care. that? Because you know why? Because if you was to tell us we can't do it, we're going to find a way to do it. I'm not even going to lie to you, though. I don't think that's true. I think we get away with it until we can't get away with it. Now, I'm thinking about all of the yeah, Geminis. But, no, but, but, you, but you brought it to my attention because when you, you, the fact that Ye was multifaceted, the mm -hmm. fact that Pac was multifaceted. I mean, Lauren Prince, Hill. I mean, Prince, Prince owns Prince. a color. Prince. Yes. He owns a color. But think about it. Um, I can't speak on all the Geminis. I feel like the few ones that I could think of, it kind of like, Drew them crazy. Yeah. Right? Like, think about uh, Pac, right? And mm -hmm. again, I, I, I was I don't remember this time. Yeah. He died in 97, right? 96? Yeah, 96. 96. 96. So I was a kid at that yeah. time. I heard like five years old, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, from what I, pers <laughs> what, I, what I remember, right? Pac was like this, this super educated, different kind of guy. And yeah. what I mean by that, like even like everything had a deeper meaning. For sure. Right? Even with like the thug life. But it's like he started to believe this character that he became yeah. over time. And I think that was a part of his his demise and his downfall. I feel like a lot of, even Kanye West, Kanye West, I feel like Kanye West, beca he became a villain to himself. Like he, he accomplished mm. everything that everybody said he couldn't do. And then now when it's nothing that we don't believe that you can't do, he gonna create chaos mm -hmm. for him to thrive because he don't know how to thrive and as a gemini y'all understand that yeah. yes and that's i can don't think explain that's that good. to us no, no no explain that to me because <laughs> <laughs> <'cause laughs> I, I, I can talk about virgo shit all day i want to explain to me why that's okay, okay. it's not okay, okay. No, 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 explain, <laughs> to me how, explain to me how gemini justifies explain. it okay so when we talk sometimes it might not come off to you it might mm. come off as rough or yes. too hard or aggressive mm -hmm. you know True. so we're like Virgo, nobody like understands us you know us. some people might not understand us they might not believe in us so now we have to make chaos mm. so now we make all this chaos now y'all want to believe us yep. and now y'all understand us and now y'all believe in us yep she hit it right that's crazy so the chaos is so so so, so, so y'all act out so, so gemini's act out to get their way that's what you basically sure. said yeah. so gemini's act like kids I guess. I guess if that's how you that's want how to kids act. Like kids Pretty act. Cool. I guess if that's how you want to take it, but I wouldn't take it as kids. I just think that we're very passionate and very yes. emotion emotional about what we do. We're very very passionate. And imagine we do. if if Kanye West didn't act out though. Yeah. We would never seen none of the greatness. Right. right? Imagine if somebody said. Imagine mm. if he took Jay Z word when Jay Z was like, eh, but I like these beats though, mm. and he was like, you know what? Okay, cool, whatever. I'll just wait my turn. No, yeah. we wouldn't know Kanye West. If, um, if, if Kanye West never, I didn't even notice. If Kanye West <laughs> never went on the stage the same day that Lil Mama went on the stage and, yeah, in and, and interrupted, uh, interrupted Jay-Z, if he ain't do that about Taylor Swift, again, that's, we, don't get, we don't get the Kanye West that we have. All of these things creates the person that we now know as Kanye West. So that's what we're doing now. They didn't hear him. Until I'm asking. So that's what, chaos. that's what we're doing. It's then. being a disruptive. <laughs> we're making chaos because we want people to see us. It's disruption. Y'all don't okay. hear us until we make chaos. Who's make. the greatest Gemini creative of all time? And y'all, I'm going to just, y'all can name. My, oh, let me not forget Marilyn Monroe was a Gemini too. Who's the greatest Gemini of all time to y'all? Um, Tupac, no question. I mean, I would, I would say Kanye West, but I mean, just understanding music and and the people in it, I probably would have to say Prince. Mm -hmm. Just because like he was doing things at a time where we couldn't even fathom like he was 
playing all of his instruments, making the beats, orchestrating the whole song, putting it together himself. So I'm going to just go with Prince for the sake of Who would you say, though, if you don't know all that, who would you say? Do some Gemini shit, man. Pick oh, your favorite. Don't try I'm to pick go, with the world. Nah, nah, nah. I, you I, I want. probably, unfortunately, <laughs> I probably will go with Kanye West. That's not unfortunate. It is. Yeah, we just, bro, we, we, he's the grand no, Gemini. He we sucks. just used him. Huh? Kanye West sucks. <laughs> he's oh, a, wow. He sucks. Well, what, what, Can I be honest with you? I love Ye, but this whole porn shit, that's the first time I'm like, he, I can't fuck with it. Bro, even the, like, it's he's naked. He, like, like, and, and the only reason I can't fuck with porn that he's doing is because he did Sunday service. And I'm like, oh. my nigga. I know you think you could be it all. Yes. But come on, yeah, man. You, you can't do that. There's some Gemini <laughs> shit, bro. There's, There's some Gemini. It's like definitely right? some Gemini shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, he has Jeezy porn. That's why his uh that's why the guy that runs his company, uh, he decided to retire. Cause he he resigned because he didn't wanna Yeah, I just don't I don't agree with the porn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Gemini's like like you think you think so far out the box that you take yourself out yeah. the box entirely. It's like, bro, I, I can make this a good thing. No, some things just leave it alone. Even with the whole Donald Trump thing, it's like, yo, some things he, is he a Gemini, is he a Gemini yeah, too? He's a Gemini. Yes, yes, oh. he is a Gemini. But like some things just leave alone. Oh shit! Yeah. Like cause just, chaos, get the attention. Damn, he, Gemini and Kanye is the same person. It makes sense. Well, Kanye is the music. Donald Trump is the sport. I mean, yes. it's the politics. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just and really we don't care what we Gemini. say either. We yeah. don't care. We're not going to hold our tongue for nobody. It's going to come out, and we don't care how you feel. Yeah. That sounds fun. So, unfortunately, <laughs> it would be Kanye West, in my opinion. But I don't want to be yeah. proud of that. I'd be like, <laughs> like, I got she's like, you're fucking right. <laughs> right, right. I say something about your mama, nigga. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Like, okay, you're proud of that? Yeah. Deal with it, motherfucker. Deal with I'm, it. Like, Man. <laughs> I'm sorry. What else we got? So, okay, speaking of the Kanye porn and everything, there was a guy, girl named Candace Owens. She was talking about banding porn. She said, it's psychological weakens our males. What's y'all thoughts on that? There's some truth. There's probably some truth. Probably As split someone down the <laughs> that rode the bus to the train, to the bus again, to buy my first porno, <laughs> I asked her. To, she, women will never understand what a man's mind is like. That's true. And men are men. And we like what we like. And we might like something and we know it's not the greatest for us, but that's what men do. So let me <laughs> see, yo. let me let me do some Gemini <laughs> shit then. Do some Gemini <laughs> shit. I can see it definitely does like probably mess with your mind psychology. Yeah. Right? I can see that. However, on the flip side, I think it makes you strong. Mm. Because yes. well, men are super like, well, some men can be super like Weak. Weak. Yeah. Emotionally weak. Especially when it comes to your private area. A lot of us, on a young age, think without dicks a lot. Mm. It is what it, it is. It don't right? stop. It doesn't stop. Yeah. Porn. That's <laughs> our show. We can say two things we want to say. So, if you think about porn, right? Mm -hmm. When you watch porn, a lot of men, right? Like, we get, what, what is it? Uh, after you, you had sex with a girl, after you come, you, you uh, post nut clarity. <laughs> right? Post nut clarity. Post so, nut clarity. So, 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 that's so, some Gemini avoid, shit. I never heard, you that, never as heard a, that. As a so, Virgo, I've never heard avoid, that. So, post nut, post so, nut clarity. So, to avoid post nut clarity, right? Land down with the wrong woman. Mm -hmm. You watch porn, you beat your dick. Post nut it, clarity it, it, kicks it, in. You don't gotta it, have sex. It, it's, like, it's like mm -hmm. the scene from Something About Mary. You ever seen something about Mary? Where well, he's like, oh, you going on a date? He said, now go drain the pipe so you can have a clear brain. Have a clear yeah. brain. Yeah. Uh, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly. So now, now you think straight. Now you Would think you rather your husband watch porn or, or, or actually be out there doing something? Porn. Of course. Sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, so for me, it's like, listen. I, okay. <laughs> I've been watching this since I was six, so it's hard for me. Right, that's crazy. Six years old, Raymond? Damn. No, listen, man. nigga. <laughs> Ray, you a I used to, ass I used nigga. to be. This is a freaky ass um, Virgo. Six right years here. old. Sixty nine guy. My aunt, my aunt cool. has a boyfriend. Six. And he has nasty movies under the bed. Under, that's I was normal, playing hide and seek one day. I found the fucking stash. Oh. <laughs> now the DVDs. I watched crazy. it. No, this I mean, is. Uh, no, the tape, I'm, the tape I'm a little older. This wasn't no DVD. This was yeah. magazines. Oh, and I remember. Magazines. And I remember. Always want to play hide and seek. So I can always hide in that spot and nobody can fuck with me while I'm hiding. Uh-huh. Now I do think that there's a I do think there is a level of I think it's too easy today. Yeah. Like all a kid has to do is go on there and say, Yes, I'm 18. Yeah. That's it. 
Like, uh, nigga, I had to catch the train to the bus to go to the right African store to go to the right African who would be like, hey, yeah, okay, yeah, five dollar extra, five dollar extra, you on the age. I'm like, yes, man. You did that? Suck it home. Uh -huh. We had it in the bag. We was like, don't nobody fuck this up. Mm. We hid it in the houses. Like, to my shine, it's your week. How did, where you hiding that though? Cause don't let your mom find this shit. We you all put in on this. <laughs> where you hiding it, boo oh, man? man so oh, I gotta hear it. It was dog. I mean, dog. It's, it's, it's funny because he's, 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 yeah, he's spot on. He's spot on. When you was a kid, you had to do what yeah. you had to do to see that shit. It was either that or you had a zap cable box with the and spice channel. And not only that, and not only that, and not only that, men that men that use that properly will be a better man successfully. Yeah. Because yeah. if you if you use it for <laughs> the fuck is so funny. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do we give him a mic? <laughs> I was just saying, when, okay, when you use it, no, what we're saying though, if you use it properly, it will help you focus on what's important. Yeah. And to me, I think that as a man and with all of the bunched up energy we have in us, if you can, if that helps you clear your head to get to work, then I'd rather you do. <laughs> Yo, I rather, and by the way, it's Yo, not me. Guy. It's oh, most guy. elder nigga on the staff. The most Yo, elder nigga is those horny ass niggas. Freaky ass, ass niggas. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, okay, there it is. There it is. Freaky ass nigga. Freaky, Freaky ass, ass niggas. Sixty nine guy. 69 guy. 69 guy. Hey, hey, hey. Damn. Damn. I see. <laughs> shit. What take the mic. Okay. He is so. horny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is. That is crazy. Oh, anyway, man. Yeah. He's a Scorpio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Go to the next anyway. one. So, did he do y'all? <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all just threw me off for that one. So, there's an artist named Pink Panther. Um, she says songs don't need to be no longer than two minutes and 30 seconds, no bridges, outro, or repeated verses. She can go to hell. <laughs> that was kind of like Dion Warwick's response because I saw that. Um, yeah. Um, and she also said, "What she, part of a song structure are necessary for her?" She lives in a world where there's 15 seconds of fame. Yes. Instead of 15 minutes. Yes. So in her world, time is everything, and that extra 30 seconds to hear a bridge is unneeded. I will say I agree with her. Now let me tell you why. Because I was signing this artist one time, and he, you appreciate this, Joe. He fucked my head up. He said. My songs are all two minutes because mm. if anyone wants to hear more, they could just listen to it over again and I get another stream. Compared to a four minute song, you could have listened to my song twice. So mm. if I have a four minute song, I could have a, I might have a hundred million streams. But if it was two minutes, it might be two hundred million because now you got to listen to it twice to get the feeling of it. That's true. And and that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm not mad at the two minute songs. I mean. And I also feel like we got to stop enforcing our thought process on the youth. Yep. They dumb. Yeah. When I was dumb, when I was young, I was dumb. Yeah. And my mom, they let me be dumb. Like nobody, that's a, that's, a, that's a problem we need to talk about. Why do everybody feel the need to correct each other so much in today's society? Mm. Back in the day, a motherfucker said something stupid. I'm going to go to the aliens. We're going to let your ass be stupid. We're going to let you be stupid. Now they're like, go to the aliens. He's dumb. Why are you? It's like, bro, like, why can't people dumb just be dumb? Yeah. Nah, some of my, my favorite songs are over five minutes long. I'm looking at like The Weeknd, The Zone by The Weeknd and Drake. I love it's that It's like song. Yes. seven <laughs> minutes. It goes on forever. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lauren Hill, X Factor, mm -hmm. five, five minutes and 30 seconds. What? So it's like when I hear that, I'm like, man, yeah, you listen to that shit by yourself. But, that, but in the microwave era, you can't get mad at the microwave. You can't. Not for sure. We live in the era of TikTok, Instagram, Vine, and everything else. If you see a video more than a minute, 30 seconds is long on it Bruh, on social media. Like dog, we like dog, like we was talking about this when we did your show. Like the most important uh 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 thing we can offer each other is attention. Mm. Yeah. I got a question. Now if you're say for instance the setting and you're trying to entertain a young lady at your house, right? You're showing, right? Would you rather have that two minute song or Isaac Hayes? Of course. Give me that sixteen minute song. It depends song, on baby. what type of man you are. If two you're minute a two song. minute man or a five minute man. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on, exactly. It depends on what type of man you are. Two minute man or five minute man. You said two minutes. Get right, get right to That's it. That's all you need. Get right to it. <laughs> I'm gonna feel like it was on forever and it's over. It's over. 
<laughs> okay, speaking of that, so Nicki Minaj was had was at a um concert or wherever she was at, and she had made a speech basically saying labels are dropping artists who have talents, who ha- but not- no popularity. Yes. Talks about how growing up she would turn on the radio and the artist actually had talent. Now she says she turned on the radio. It's just a whole bunch of Instagram models and personalities making music now. Mm-hmm. What are y'all thoughts? Nikki on is that? the hardest artist in history to like. She's probably the hardest superstar in history to like. And why? She doesn't do anything to give people a reason to like her. I love Nikki. Well, you love her. I'm no, it's saying. because she doesn't conform to the standard that the industry. No, no, set. but it's not even that. It's just like it's just like you're getting locked up by the police. Oh yes. Yeah, Why are you that. recording? Asking like it's like you're going to jail, and you know you like my lawyer, my dog. You're going to jail. Like putting the phone on. Like to me, it was like like any. You, you should not talk to people who are lower a lower status in life than you. And if you are, you shouldn't talk to them with the disdain that she, like those guys are just doing their fucking job. And you had drugs in your bag. And whether you think it's good or not, it was, all I remember thinking is like, why is she making it so hard to like her? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and she's the most talented female rapper of all time. Like you gotta give her that. Like you can't say Lauren because Lauren did one fucking album. So when people try to say Lauren, Lauren did one album. She, Nikki has laid it on the line. She's talented. She makes hits. She can rap. She does everything she's supposed to do. But it's like as soon as you want to smile at her, and she'll be like, why the fuck are you looking at me? And it's like, <laughs> my bad. It's like, I just, she's just the hardest star to like to me. And it's like, and I don't, and I don't know if it's like on purpose, but it's like, fuck, Nikki. And I like her. Yeah. But I'm like, fuck. It's almost like she gives you a reason not to. Like, it's like she like, don't want to be liked. Mm-hmm. That's how some New York women act, though. Whoa. Yeah, shade. I don't care. <laughs> we got a lot of people It's okay. <laughs> a lot of people follow us from that city. My question is to you though is like, can you can you be upset at that? Or because like when when you say that, the, the first thing I think of is like, well, damn, I don't I don't necessarily agree, but it it, it creates shock value. Like when you like, um, she's the hardest person to like. She every time. Well, she, uh, well, I would actually tell you if you don't agree, give me another artist that makes it harder to be liked than Nicki. I mean, I would have to then agree that she makes it harder to be like. There it is. But I don't <laughs> so that's, why, that. that's why I say that, because I'm like, if you, because in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, like, who can make me not, like, well, like, Nicki Minaj is not one of them. I think Kanye might, might do that. For sure. Kanye makes it hard to like him, too. 100%. Um, but I don't know if he does it worse than Nicki. No way. Wait, wait, wait. Nicki Minaj don't even come to half of making me not like her compared to what Kanye does. Kanye was... He literally says slavery is not a choice. Like that's if, if you tell me making it hard, he goes in and endorse a uh, a uh, 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 damn. I'm sorry, uh, um, the West, Donald Trump. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, can, it, like can, we, can we talk about that for a second? I want to ask a question because I did a show. A race is the word I, I was did looking a show, for. I did a show with Big Bank, and while I was high, the first time I ever done that, and I shouted out. I spoke about Donald Trump mm-hmm. and I basically said that, you know, smart people was more focused on what they could do for themselves while other people were basically saying he's a bad person. Da, da, da. My question is, is that why is it that why can that be the narrative in our community? But the soon as someone says I'm OK with something he does, we turn on each other. Like yesterday when I was doing training, my trainer said, she said, Donald Trump, whether you like him or not. And I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't need that. Like, I understand why people do it, but it's like, I don't have nobody I don't like. My point is, is that why is it that we act like that with, as black people, when Trump name come up? Like, why is it that when one black person says, I'm a vote for him, people are like, she's not black. Like when Amber Rose said, mm-hmm. we don't like her. She's not. Why is that? I'm just curious. Because you brought up Trump name in a negative way. And I'm just like, I just wonder why we can't. Because like, Trump was nothing but negative to our people. Like when he speaks, like he's ignorant. Who like, he's a people? bigot. Black people, African-Americans. So like when you have somebody who's promoting Donald Trump, who only did negative for our people, spoke negative for our people, only used what us did he do for negative? benefits. Bro, I had so many ignorant statements. I can't even like. I wasn't even. Prepared. I had had to prepare for this conversation. But okay, so let me ask you: If what if he flat out said, "If you don't vote for me, you ain't black." What if he said? What if Donald Trump said that? Because I believe we pick and choose who we like <clears throat> and who we want it from. 
Because, I mean, that's true. Because, because <clears throat> like, literally, I had people like, I'm unfollowing this guy because he said, I'm like, yeah. so I can't say the man name without y'all thinking I'm there. I, I'm only curious of that because, and let me tell you why I say that. Because black people, I have this idea I want to do for black people. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I, I want to do, I want to create a, I want to create a whole organization called By the Black Vote. Mm. I want the organization to be called by the black vote. And I want all of us to sit sit down and say, what do we want? And we're going to sell a vote to who, the highest bidder that's going to give us the most shit because that's what politics really is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Politics, we be thinking politics is the moral compass of America. That shit ain't, nothing about it is moral At compass all. of America. Mm -hmm. It is nothing but crooked people on both sides basically saying, do you want to overdose on sugar or you want to overdose on salt? But it's like, well, we like sugar, so it's like, but bro, what if I don't want sugar? What if I like salt? Like, I'm just asking you that because we, I, when Donald Trump name comes up, it triggers us so much. And I'm just asking you, when has he said something that offended? Bro, he black ignorant. People? He's ignorant, and he's unapologetically ignorant. Even when he said something about grabbing the girl by the pussy, right? And then he goes to defend privately. It. Yeah, yeah, but he, he defends it and say that's locker room talk. Although that's true, you still got to hold yourself to some type of standard. You're the president of the United States of America, and he proved to you that he doesn't have to. But and he still became the president. That's, 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 that's no. no, 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 no. All I'm trying to get you to see is, is that in our world, we be having what we expect, our expectations of people and putting it on them and saying, you can't be that. He just showed us you can't. So guess what? Yeah, you think that's a good thing? That's the problem with this I'm internet. Not, listen, no, hold up, hold up. I'm not arguing. I'm not, you, I didn't say something was good or bad, Jay. I'm not speaking about good or bad. I'm speaking about a thought process that, because I'm open-minded to everything. And I'm saying... Yes, because I'm I'm I used to be like that, and I'm still to a, po a point to a point I'm like that, but I'm trying to get away from that. You know why? Why? Because if you're open-minded to everything, then you're open-minded to everything, and you you talk about everything. You gotta you gotta introduce the extremes of the world. So think about it, pedophiles, right? Yes, pedophiles like this internet shit, these these camera shit. The people a person can get up here and spill some bullshit on his camera and have somebody believing that it's true when it's not. So like when we talking about like yeah man he could get it he could show you that he don't have to conform to everybody else thinking. Guess who else can do that? Rapists too. And I'm not trying to I'm not and, that's and, true. And, and I'm not endorsing no corny like ignorance. Sure. So, so, so that's all I'm saying. By the so way, like, I'm not. I'm not, 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 not I just not, want you not, to go. No, go. I'm not. Bro, this is for content, but it's real though. I'm saying so when I look at people like that, it's like yo. Where's the, the dignity? You're the president. So whom much is given, much is required. So if you don't hold yourself to a certain standard and you're making it okay, you're meaning to tell me it's going to be a young boy, a young girl out there who think they could do the same thing because Donald Trump did it. If he could be the president, I can too. No, you cannot if you want some goofy shit. And but we should have showing you checks that and balances. you can. But so, that it should, but that, not, say, that not, shouldn't I'm be okay. I'm not arguing if it's right or wrong or if it's okay or not. I'm saying he's showing you that that's not true. So guess what? For, for, uh, for, 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 for a long time, yeah. for a long time, P. Diddy, to his closest friends, showed that he could be an ignorant, asshole, piece of shit, piece of person and get away with it. Yes. So that means it's right? No. Right. R, R. Kelly, for a long time, before he got arrested, showed that he can get away with these heinous crimes and these tragic behaviors and, 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 and nobody check him because he was rich, he had money. So that means it's okay? So no. no, if it don't apply to them, it don't apply to Donald Trump either. And that's what I'm saying. So, well, and, I, with Donald Trump, to me, what I like that he's doing is he's exposing us that the goalpost is different for them than it is us, because he is a he is a, a, a like no black man could be married the three times married baby mama bankruptcies all the things he's done and still win. We would be you ashamed. needed to be exposed to that because no, no, no. we already no, no. knew that shit. I didn't know that. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know that. I, like I didn't know a black man was gonna win. I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's I true. I thought America thought like you. And then Trump came and I was like, he's gonna win. And the reason why he's gonna win is because to me, I feel like he makes Americans not feel bad for how they really think and feel fail. Because let's be clear, he is morally the wrong person for the country. Right. But if he's financially better for people, then they're gonna vote mm -hmm. for their finances, which to me is wrong. 100%, I get that. We're picking finances over morals, but it fucking happens. So let's get back to the to, to the point though. Mm -hmm. You said that Nicki Minaj makes it hard. Makes it What's good everybody? This is Ray Daniels, AKA the culture referee. And if you were wondering who this beautiful woman sitting next to me is, is my sister Tiffany Daniels Sai. Let's give it up for my sister. Everybody get clap. This is good. 
<laughs> and my sister is, she's the most talented person in the family. And we started a family business, a signature scent company. So if you like smoke a lot of weed in your car and you want to get the scent out, you have to check out these scents. I know guys that use it for the weed. I know people that use it for cologne and everywhere they go to get compliments. We make candles. We make Room sprays, we got them in kits. So if you want to buy something for your loved one or anybody you know that you care about, hit us up, LorraineCo.com. We're going to put the website at the bottom of it. Uh, but support this black business, support this black woman, and order, I promise you guys. As a matter of fact, use the word gods and we'll give you 15% off. I just made that up. So if my sister <laughs> face looks crazy, don't get mad at her. I'll eat that. But Guys, when I tell you this shit is incredible, you really should check this out. The best sense ever. LaRayCo.com. And we'll put it at the bottom of the screen. Thank you. Thanks. Hard. She makes it hard. See, no artist to me makes it harder to be not liked than Nicki. What has Nicki Minaj done to any level of Kanye West? Well, I'm not here to compare. I'm not here you to said compare. any artist, no. so we got to compare. Okay, you said so, name okay so let's do this then. I like what this conversation I like debating. You're going to see this, Bobby. I'm good at this. <laughs> now watch this. Let's go there. Let's talk about the good he's done, and let's talk about the bad he's done. And then let's take the same moment and talk about Nikki. Who have we ever seen Nikki change the life of, help, do anything, or be benefit from? Who do we ever see a speaker? A lot for? of young African American when? just by, by her existence. No, we can't. No, we can't erase we, that. We can't, you can't no. do that, Jay. No. Who did we see? Like, so what I'm saying is the reason why I say who did she I put say, on? For, no, it's not even that. It's like when 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 the fucking levees broke, and they was like we was watching black people die on TV, and Kanye said George Bush doesn't care about black people. That cancels out slavery was a choice. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying is that you like my thing is, is that if we're going to focus on everything bad. Then we have to focus on everything good. So what I'm saying is that what like have we even seen like Nikki's a mother now? I don't even see being a mother changing her. It, it should have made you warm. Mm -hmm. I'm only speaking about, by the way, I have no problem with Nikki. It's just conversation. But I'm just speaking about how it, we make it hard on us to be liked. Kanye makes it hard too. But he's also... The same person that said, it seems we live in the American dream, but the people high us up have the lowest self-esteem. He's also the person that said, the prettiest people do the ugliest thing. On he said bitches. other yeah. shit. To me, he's just, you just, Kanye's just a Gemini, my nigga. It's a great side and it's a terrible side. And, and that's you the should thing be defending him as a no, Gemini. I'm, and, 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 like, but, you should but, be the one that's defending him. No, I understand that. But as a man, I understand my, I'm a person. I understand my flaws and things I'm great at. And I think that thing right there is one of my flaws that I work really hard to not. He's a contradiction. You can't so walk let me ask you a question. Good question. What if your flaws is what what if your flaws is what drives you to the top? What if being a dick is what makes you rich? Bro, I understand. No, I'm, 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 no. no, the same reason they hate you be the same reason they love you. I get point. it. I'm here with you. I'm just saying, bro, you gotta understand the the influence that you have around the world. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the kids that look up to you, the people that's inspired by you. Bro, you breaking our hearts. Like, yeah, you say the people the highest up had the lowest self-esteem, and then you become one of them people. No, how about you show us the change? How, how about you show us that you can you can be one of the great people with, with, with really good high. By the way, I agree. Everything you're saying, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I'm only saying that to you say that. Like, I'm only saying to say that I, I can't think of anybody like niggas love Ye. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anybody that loves Nikki. That everybody that love her defends her. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, man, she a girl. She just a woman. If it, it was like, okay. At the end of the day, like, you, you make it hard to be liked, though. That's all I'm speaking about. They don't like you, and it's not because of you. It's not because of them. You did something to make him I can like see. It. I understand what you're saying. I can see that for sure. I just think, I don't know, man. I like Nicki Minaj, man. And I see how she see, makes it See, you hard. personally like Nicki, and you personally don't like Kanye. Let me, I got a question. Go ahead. But that's because I used to love Kanye, though. Like, one, one, <laughs> some of my friends I love, I love would probably look at this podcast and be like, this, Jay, wait, what? Like, because he was one of my Bro, biggest. I, my name is a culture referee because I was at a dinner table arguing about Kanye versus everybody. Yeah. That's why Kasim Reed named I love him. Kanye. So I love him. I mean, but, I, but, like, he was one of my I'm biggest. What I'm saying is, is that for, for you, that he gives you reasons to like him just as much as he gives you reason not to like him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. You ever been around him? Nah, I ain't never been around none of these people. 
Honestly, I'm not a damn about none of you dudes. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's all I'm saying. I got some, I got some friends like that. I got some friends who mm-hmm. genuinely, I'm like, you just don't want nobody to like you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, that might be her ploy, by the way. I'm going to be a bitch so people stay away Shit, from me. Sometimes I feel it. like that's me. I'll be like, damn. <laughs> I understand. I'm like, shit. What what I want to be like. I don't give a fuck about being like. I'm a Virgo. Right. I, don't give a fuck. I love Virgos, by the no, I'm way. I'm saying, I, I'm just saying, I don't care if you like me because you liking me has nothing to do with me. Facts. It has everything to do with how you see the world. So mm. if my presence bothers you, you should go look in the mirror. There ain't nobody whose presence bothered me that much. Facts. Okay. What we got? Real. So, what do you guys think about a Bow Wow and Chris Brown collaboration album? They ain't got no collaboration album. I'm about to say, they what album? album one no, they not. Yes, they are. We don't know for sure what it is. How do y'all feel about it? 18 we years can't late, feel anything shit. about anything and we don't coming. know what it, we don't know what it is. You ask us how we feel about something. I you feel make like they would dropped this ten years ago. Been one of the best. It was on the blogs. I don't know if that was. They dropped the tweet with a date. It could be a song dropping. It could be a movie. It could be anything. It don't have to be an album. Okay, but if they was to come out with an album, what you think? Would you think it would be a, a hit or would it be a? I don't think they will. No, really? I don't need. I don't think Chris Brown needs to do an album That's with that Bow Wow. Right? I think that would be the. I think not just respect the Bow Wow. I'm just like Chris Brown don't need to. Bro, do Bow, Bow Wow makes some really good music. I feel like he's one of the most underrated. See, this nigga came with an agenda. He want to debate. He want. Joe, I got. I got. I got to talk to him. You now. like Bow Wow music? When I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Bow Wow like. But Bow-Wow. he didn't. His, Bow Wow's not his generation. <laughs> okay, that yeah. Part. Bow Wow's not. Bow Wow made some really. I that's feel like, like, our, like a lot of people like gave him a lot of slack because you came. We you, seen him as a kid, you came, and we can never see past agenda. him being a kid. Bow Wow makes some really good music, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't name, never had name, nobody show name me other five Bow Wow songs. Five Bow Wow hits. Hits. Yeah. Five hits. That you sing today. <laughs> and you moving the goalposts further and further back. Listen, I, I don't was, sing no Chris I Brown was sing, song listen, right now. Yes, we do. I don't. I was singing. What's his name? Um, uh, Frankie Beverly and Maze. I wasn't. Mm-hmm. I, would, I, I was. I was just listening young. to Frankie Beverly and Maze. I was too young to understand it, but I was singing it. Can't yeah, get over you. That's what, what I'm record. telling you yeah. is, is that. Come on, man. Like, I, by the way, Bow Wow is. Family, but bro, you can't Andy compare guy, Bow Wow to Frankie Beverly and Maze. Why the fuck can't I? We wouldn't be listening to none of these damn artists. If I'm being honest with you, Bow Wow run was a little longer than Frankie Beverly and Maze. If I'm being honest with you, Whoa, that, is nice. that is the fucking truth. <laughs> Bow how, long, how long was Frankie Beverly and Maze run? I ain't to my day on now. Damn nah. Man. Then Bow Wow's on the 25 year run. One party that they didn't play. No. No, he's saying, he's saying like You're how long they was. talking about a party. Yeah. I'm not talking about a song. I'm talking about a run. Yeah. How long they was making music. That's not a run. That's maintaining yourself. You're saying like. Their, 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 run, their yeah. run was about 25 to 30 years. No way. Before they started going on tour. I'm talking about all the albums. Bro, I'm just talking about the album before be they started. with you. We haven't had an artist with a 25 year run outside of maybe Lil Wayne. Drake. Not yet. We've almost. No, no 25 other. year run. LL Cool J. I wouldn't call it that a run. Huh? I won't call it a run. You started in 84. Jay Z for sure. Would you call it a run? Jay Z. Jay Z. You can't. How's Jay Z a run? Jay Z no, no, hasn't no. dropped an album since 2017. No, I'm talking about uh uh-uh. uh. No, LL hasn't dropped a successful album in 20 fucking years. How's that a run? You talking about a run? You talking about a run current? I'm talking about current. Somebody that's still, still dropping albums. We should definitely run. It ain't the fire ain't went out since it started. Motherfucker, they still active. How's LL not on there? Oh, I, I think I think Jay Z had a twenty five year run. Not on that list. Huh? Jay Z had How's a twenty one. LL Cool J not on that list. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Fifteen. Jay Z had twenty five. Eighty five, eighty five to maybe two thousand. When Fool. did Reasonable Doubt come out? Fool. Reasonable Doubt. Ninety six. Jay Z had a twenty five year run. He had a twenty five year run. Ninety six to two thousand seventeen. That's how many years is that? Twenty one. That's twenty one. 96 nah. for the 2017, 21. Dr. Dre? Nah. Dr. Dre ain't dropped the album in 20 fucking years. Right. Dog, nice. y'all a run? A, nah, so you said Bow Wow had a 25? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. How is she not? What's the? We just dropped the album last what year. What are we arguing? It's the Grammy. It's 50 master, Cent on a run. You're a master manipulator. It's 50 Cent on a run. <laughs> not a master manipulator. <laughs> Hold up. It's set the Gemini. It's, it's, it's 50 Cent on a run. If you include the TV shit, I would say so. 
And Wait, so you're saying Bow Wow had a, hold up, can we go back to the original point? Can we go back to the original point? You're saying Bow Wow had a 25 year run? Fuck no. So why are we even talking about 25 <laughs> years? We talking about Bow Wow and Frankie Beverly and Maze. What 25 Bow years wow got to do with this? Had a- Bow Wow probably had a 15 year run. So Frankie Beverly and Maze didn't have. Not even. That's generous. That's generous. Bow Wow's run is the 106 in Park Ever. Bow Wow. His run is the 106 in Park Ever. When did, when did 106. That's about right. When did 106 in Park start? His run is about from 2000, 2000 to about 2008. We supposed to be arguing. Wait, wait. 2009, my nigga. It's like 7, 8 2000 to 2008. Okay. He didn't put no music out then. He didn't put no music out. There was no music out at that time. He was fucking. Bro, he's on. Bro. We can't argue with him. If we saying that, that's like Jay Z being with Big Daddy Kane in '88. All I'm saying is. I'm just saying to y'all that it takes a run means we hot. And we ain't let the motherfucking fire start out. So now. you said some people Bow get wow. to that white space, that hot white space, like Frankie Beverly and Maze is, like Bow Wow is, like Ye is, where it doesn't matter if they ever put out an album, they're gonna be able to perform and be at that level for the rest of their career. Yes. He's that. Hmm. But I'm just saying, how, like, dog, what year did before I let go come out? I don't even know. That's why I was like, I feel like sometimes, you know what I'm saying, Joe? Like, sometimes I feel like we be so hard. Like, it's like, what year did it, it been a part of my life since I was a fucking baby? Yeah. So, nigga, the, the, is, is that on one album? Is, is Before it's I like, Let Go with Happy Feelings and all those songs on one? We, I don't know. It's like Lauryn Hill, almost. Lauryn Hill ain't on no run. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm siding with you. I'm saying what? Lauryn Hill had one album. In 81. Oh, wow. Frankie Beverly Mays came out. That song. Yeah. That song came out. That song. That's crazy. So that song is 43 years old. So what old. year was A. Frankie Beverly and Maze active? Oh, late 70s. Started well, he was singing with Marvin Gaye, right? Yes. That ain't no wrong, man. I don't, y'all, listen. Bottom line, what I'm trying to tell you is this. is that My point is this, is that Bow Wow had a good run. He had a good run. It was short. And like it, Mike. It was, it was, he, sh- he, like sh- Mike. he is young, so I think it feels longer. But to be honest with you, the longest run in hip-hop history is Lil Wayne. How long That's true. Over LL Cool J. How? Who? Lil Wayne over LL Cool J. How? How? Uh, how? Lil Wayne has been a fucking famous rapper since he was 14. The man is 40 years old. I thought it was 12. Damn. Who's that the no, he, no, he dropped his album when he was 14. He's been yeah. rapping since he was 12. I was started rapping Wayne since he was 16? 12. How many motherfuckers are you listening to when they 12 that you listen to when they 30? That's a great point. No, no, point. I said that's uh, a great point. How that's, many people are you? It's not a lot. Michael Jackson's probably Bow Wow Michael Jackson is in the um no, You know what we're talking about? Yo, chill out. Uh, uh, do you no. have an agenda? Do you I have an agenda? We talking about 50 year run. Michael no, Jackson. No, no, no. Michael Jackson. No, big run. Michael Jackson. Stevie Wonder. James Brown. You about 50, 40, 50 year run? You, you, you mentioned those run, things. Man. Pilot Bell, are you kidding me? Come on, man. Let's be real, Ray. <laughs> Michael Jackson about a single in the Hey, Ray, I know what so it is. So is Chingy on a run? No! Oh, Why is God. Chingy Ray, not on a run? Ray, He's still Ray, performing. Ray, I no, know. No, 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 no. What is Chingy doing? What is, what is <laughs> Frankie Beverly and Maze doing right now that Chingy is? Hey, Ray, I know what it is. Somebody tell me that. Ask that question. It's, what is Frankie Beverly and Maze doing right now that Chingy's not doing? Ray, I know what it is, They perform before I let go. He performing one call away. It's the, it's the glasses, bro. They performing happy feelings. He performing right there. It's, it's the, the same shit. It's the glasses. This content. Content over everything. It's content no, over. No, it's, it's not that. I'm just showing you. It's content over, over I'm everything. I'm just showing you it, how man. we're biased in our choices. No, no, bro. The I conversation just started. I see Chingy and Frank Mays and Frank no, Mays. No, 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 you didn't. Biases. Yeah, no. Biases, right, Chad? Bro, it's not biased. Ray, you introduced, bro. It's like we went all the way around the Mul- Mulberry Bush. You introduced a, a statement. You made a statement. You said Bow Wow had a longer run than Frankie Beverly Mays. And we just started talking about everything else. He might have. No, that's all we talking about. Like, he might have. I still ain't got that. Can somebody look up? Nigga, you got a mic. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> when did he start? When did who start? Bow Wow start. Oh, I can tell you that. 2000. We started talking about everything else but Bow Wow and Frankie Beverly. Right. Bow Wow started in 2003 and he been famous and hot since. No, no, 2000. no, no, no. no. Oh, How sport. long was this active run? This guy, boy, he will move the goalposts. I'm not fucking with you. Leave me the fuck alone, man. What the fuck else we got, man? What's my Bow Wow? What else we got? In Atlanta sports, we got the Boston Celtics in the NBA Finals. Ooh, shout out, Boston. Let's go. It's a sweep. It's a sweep. Hold on, hold on. Sweep my ass. I'm not impressed. I'm very impressed. 
and I told no, him. No, but that. it's not a slight. It's not a slight. <laughs> it's not a slight. You play with, and you're a Knicks fan, nigga. I'm, I'm not a Knicks fan. I'm not a Knicks fan. I'm actually a Lakers fan. But you play who's in front of you. You play who's in Joe, front of you. Joe, you play. We have a New Yorker who is said they're a Lakers fan. I you're didn't grow up a Lakers fan. You're not a I'm basketball not a fan. Knicks fan. You're not a basketball fan if you're not if you're a New Yorker. That's not true. You like the Lakers. I grew up a Jordan fan. Hell with the Knicks. You oh, definitely are not a Lakers oh, Knicks wow. fan. Hell with the Knicks. You definitely not a Knicks Jordan. fan. You was a Jordan, Jordan fan. Jordan, Jordan. Oh, you like the Lakers. You like the Lakers because LeBron. I, yeah. No, no, Kobe. no. no. He wanna, he, you are. I actually like the Lakers back there. I'm a Magic Johnson fan. Okay. Hold on. I'm a Magic Johnson fan. Relax. 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 You wanted to be light skinned your whole life. I am light skinned. No, you wanted to be. I am. You wanted to be. What you mean? I am. Light skinned niggas love the Lakers. I guarantee you like the Cowboys too. I don't you? Hell like no. Hell no. I, <laughs> more like a no, no pause. So, <laughs> moving right along. What else we got? Moving right along. You're not impressed? I'm not impressed with the Celtics. They didn't beat nobody impressive to me mm -hmm. on their way to the finals. Uh, Indiana, Tyrese Halliburton was hurt. Prior to that, I don't even know who they played in the second round. They played the... Uh, Cleveland. 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 Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I, I think I think Dallas is going to spank them. I think so too. I don't think they've been. And challenged. there's nothing going to be. It's nothing that's going to be more rewarding to Black America than watching Kyrie Irving go back into the Boston fucking Garden. Yes. And bust they ass. Kyrie Irving apology tour. Hundred percent. It's He's coming. Gonna bust. Oh, he is. Ass. Oh, it's going to be epic. And I mean, it's personal. <laughs> when it's personal with him, he different. It's going to yeah. be epic. Okay. Epic. What else we got, Brina? Okay, so. We have, there was a question that was on the internet, India Royal, she had posted. She said, do y'all care for uh, somebody mama like y'all? Because I actually do a little bit. A nigga that love you is going to make his mama act accordingly. Do you think that if you was in a relationship and she your mama didn't like She definitely didn't grow up in the house with she a didn't, black mother. No, she didn't. She couldn't have. You not can't speaking make a like black that. mother love no motherfucking body. <laughs> you sure can't. You sure can't. Like, I, if you could, we would be doing it. Some black mother, some black mother come to the door and be like, but you know what's nah, what I'm saying? But what we really should focus on is how many black mothers are raising their sons to have more loyalty to them, the mother, mm -hmm. than they do their own woman that outside part. their house. Yeah, that's true. What you got to say about that, Gemini? <laughs> does, your mama, does your mama like your girlfriend how's that going for you uh i think i'm gonna answer the question i think um my mom's did a great job at raising me to understand that my wife comes first mm, let's cut for his mom we don't have a lot of that we don't have a lot of that sure, However, however, however Mama I don't think she did. I don't think she did a great job at displaying that. She's ra she, ra she raised me to know that, but when it came down to put my wife first, I don't think she was as understanding in that. Yeah. Like it yeah. sounds good until it actually happens. It sounds good. It's easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, but so 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 the wife comes first. Yeah, but at the same time, just sure I'm not. I'm not trying to go. I'm not trying to go too deep and spiritual in this. But a lot of times we live in these these the lives that we should be living anyway. So when we talk about girlfriends, right? A lot yeah. of times we treat our girlfriends like our wife. Right. So like, if you're in the house with someone, like first of all, we having sex. I mean, it might not be the show for that. It's okay. We having sex before marriage. That we doing all these things that we be doing that we should be doing in before marriage. We're married, yeah. Right. For sure. So of course we're treating the woman that we're with like we would be treating the woman that we're married to. Yeah. So in those situations where mama might need something, but I got to take care of the house first. Mama might not understand that, yeah, this might not be my wife on paper, but this is my wife. Yeah. Because, I mean, shit, even when we go to the Bible, the moment we have sex, we marry anyway. I mean, technically. No, 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 about that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I got to stop you there. I mean, technically. I mean, there be a lot of married shit. motherfuckers around here. It would be, but that's the, that's Dream true. Dream gets married every Friday. Oh, every Friday, I be baptized. Be born again. Every she said baptized. Born again. baptized every Friday. I get born again. <laughs> Not born again. No, but I feel, I feel, we, I understand where you're coming from because I always tell my friends, I said, stop doing wifey things. For somebody who you're not their wife but you got married okay but i'm a wife i can do that but i'm telling them when they're in relationship with men don't be but what so what did you them. do differently when you got married compared like I, I don't absolutely understand. nothing 
when I got, oh, he said when shit. I got, oh, hold on, Paul, Paul, he said he nothing, say? he stared what at her. <laughs> what did you do differently when you got What'd married? What did you do differently before you got married? It, I held him down. I See, one thing about No, 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 no. Like Let her go. Let her go. No. Descriptive, though. I had kids. Oh. I had a baby. With, I had a baby for him. I held him down. I made him a better man. So you didn't do none of that when, before you was a wife? What you mean? Like, you, you wasn't holding him down? So what you mean? You wasn't um, making him a better man? That's what I did. That's what you asked me. You asked me what I do to become a no, wife, right? No, that wasn't my what question. What did you do differently as a wife compared to a girlfriend? Oh, to pay to a girlfriend? Uh, I did a lot. A lot more stuff. We waiting um, for something. Cooked, clean. So you gave him that before? Two babies, you didn't cook or clean when y'all was a boyfriend and girlfriend? I would, a little bit, but not, you know, I just feel like when you're married, it's, I feel like now this is my responsibility. You know, I have to, I have to do it. Yeah. When I was single, I didn't feel like I had to do it. I feel like, oh, you know, you go eat some, you know. That's probably, yeah. that's, that's, that's a problem. Yeah. Why is that a problem? Because because you're only doing it because the job description calls for it. You're not doing it because it's actually in you. Because I, I wasn't his wife, though. No, no, no. But my, if, if it's in you, it's in you. It's in you, it's in you. Yeah, but it's in me. Because let me tell you what I mean. I'm not your wife, Because let me tell you what I mean. So let, I'm not doing girl. I'm so not let doing me get, let me get the other side. Let me get the other side so you understand that I'm not attacking. What I'm basically trying to say is that if he stopped doing his man duties, mm -hmm. are you still going to do those things for him? Absolutely not. If I'm his wife, yes, because that's no, what I, that. that's my role. But no, but, 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 but you're getting a, you don't want to, like, what are we I'm lost. Aren't you? I don't, we don't have because it's only one woman on the couch and there's a, a lot of men in here. So it's, 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 I'm ready for y'all. No, I, no, 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 I'm saying, but I'm, no, no, I'm saying, but you're getting a divorce though. I'm already divorced. See, then wait, it, but it that's two different work. things. Wait, let's. But it didn't. That, it didn't work, but not because of me though. It, it didn't work because of him. He's not here to it's, it's, it, 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 listen, it's too much for TV why it didn't work out. It's too no, no, much no, no, for no, TV. No, no. My, only point I'm, my only point I'm saying is just saying that you got to be a good person regardless. Period. You got to be agree. good to people regardless. And if you're one of those people that's like, I'll do the job when I get the title, you've already lost yes. the person that's doing the because job you know that why? don't give a fuck about the title. Because I've done did stuff for men before, wifey things, and guess what? Give me an example of what a wifey thing is. I don't cook for them, clean for them, does wash things? their clothes. Guess what else? Hey, wash wifey their things. What's your name? I'm sorry. Their clothes. Dream. Dream. Washing your clothes, folding your clothes, making sure you have all your businesses intact. I'm like a man. To you, my man, I'm like his secretary. I'm all you need. I'm your secretary. I'm everything you need. You cook, you maid. Yes. I'm are all you, in one. I mean, are you like uh, spiritual at all? Yeah, I'm very spiritual. You. So you like you're a Christian? I'm Christian, yes. You know what else a wifey thing is? What? Having sex. But you're doing that as well. That was all my point. So all I'm saying is we're we're we're, we're playing house. We're doing all these wifey and husband things, right? We're doing all of that, and then with a silencer. But then when our mother, because I'm trying to get back to the point, our mother will ask us to do something. We like our mother looks at it like, well, wife come first. Now you have to understand that spouse come first because this is my house. And a lot of times we we all because me too. But I'm, I'm not, not your perfect. Wifey. I'm just your girlfriend. So, but what I'm it's, it's still his house. This is. This is in defense of you. So if I'm doing everything for you and I'm just your spouse, you what, what's the no, why no. would you want to marry me no. if you already getting everything that you got? That's a because that's what question. a man does when he's happy. But, but right, but, but okay, exactly. But so no, why would I'm you want to marry you. me though? Because I'm, I'm happy and I want to give you. Go Drink, ahead, go look, ahead, go I'm, ahead. I'm defending you. This ain't about me and you. This is about mother, right? I'm just saying our mother teaches us that wife. My mother told me that wife come first, but a lot of times in the world that a we wife, live in, yes. Word. Yeah, but I'm saying we get it misconstrued because a lot of times in the world that we live in, especially as spiritual individuals like we are, we are doing things as backwards. We aren't really living sure. the life of a Bible. So yeah. when we say that the wife come first, we can't really say that because no, I didn't, we're yeah, the wife no, I'm not yeah, listening. I'm not saying that you didn't say that. I'm just answering the question from my perspective. I'm just saying that we can say that the wife come first, but in all actuality, the way we're living our life, our girlfriend is our wife technically so i our parents need to understand that our household come first it ain't about the wife the household because a lot of us are moving in with our our partners we are having kids before for marriage out of wedlock we are doing these things so we are playing house and we are playing married couple things so they need to under our parents need to understand that our house aka our spouse comes first exactly so you're playing right you're already playing right so if you're already playing the role, why do you, why do you feel like you have to marry her if she's doing everything for you already? Why the fuck? Why do women think like that? We just talking about parents. I'm just talking about parents. You know, that is not a man. That is not a man that's thought process at all. That's at all. You're, it's listen, not meant for y'all to think if, like that. Y'all not wants, a woman. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. If he wants to get married, 
He's going to. He's not. I know some men yes. who every, just want to be husbands. Y'all will never get married to a woman unless we put the pressure on you. That's, that's not, not true. Fuck who says that? What? That's not true. Where you get? That's Y'all not true. will be happy that's with us coming in your house. Where you from? Fucking cooking, cleaning, doing all that. Y'all be content with that. Who said that? Sometimes when we have to put, hey, baby, you think it's about time. Can I tell you you? So you did copy. Hold on. I got to be honest with you. It's the tribe you attract that does that. Yes. The kind of men that you attract. You don't that, know that because I attract all types of men. I can say you that. Can, can I, I attract tell you why? all types of men. Can I tell you why? Because your opinion is exposing the kind of men you attract. Yes. Can I tell you? So and I, how was that? So what you just said, why would he do those things? I know men in his room that would do it. That's because those are not the kind of men you probably would go for. So mm -hmm. you don't know that. I you think don't know that. We, all so I'm I got, saying, look at all the men in the room. Look at, every, look at all the men. All the men looked up like, okay. <laughs> all I'm saying is that a woman shouldn't do wifey things if you're not his wife. And I'm here to tell you that the reason why <laughs> these other girls be coming in fucking it up for black girls. Maybe I'm working on my second husband. They don't husband, think like me. that. They don't I'm think like that. You, like, that's like me saying, I'll take care of you when you're my girlfriend. You're hungry. You don't think men say that all the uh, time? When you're my girlfriend, then I'll feed you. Yeah. Till then. <laughs> Two checks, sir. But that's different than a marriage, though. Right. What? That's it, what. You, a relationship mean. is a relationship. Right. Facts. And we try to make it deeper when we say marriage. I wish I had another it's woman the same here. shit. A man is going to take. A, if a man is in him, I bought my first girlfriend a car when I was 19 years old. I didn't have no money. I was working at the airport pushing wheelchairs. That is just who the fuck I was. Right. Mm -hmm. And I still am. Been buying cars fucking 25 years. So I ain't stopped yet. Cause that's who I am. They know as my girl Are said, you married? You get a car when you you start doing wifey duties. No, it's not. No, my point is that's not my, my point. I'm trying to tell you is is that is that if you make it transactional, the relationship will be transactional. But I didn't say transactional. No, no, no. You are though. You, you, you are. I just said household things, cooking, cleaning. That's transactional. That's still transactional. And, and, uh, so, but I was, I was you're basically saying I'll I was, do those things when you do this. That's I'm a transaction. I'm just not gonna do it with the best of my ability uh, if, you're, if I'm not your wife. All I was I'm saying was, it. but I, 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 I'm, I'm with you. I'm just saying if we're gonna carry it like that, we should just carry it like that all, all, all around because. You, you named some things that she wasn't doing, but you still were doing other things like, that only a wife was doing, having yeah. sex. But cool, I'm not, I'm not arguing that. I'm saying about- You're about, talking about like 1950 but, shit. No, 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 the Bible doesn't change in the 2024. It's not a 2024 Bible. About, everybody's having sex now. Not, no. Not everybody. No, no. Come on now. I'm trying to go back to the question so we can get out, <laughs> out of this, this, this black hole we just dug ourselves into. To answer her question, first of all, no, I can't make my mom's like nobody I was with. No, like you're crazy. But what was the first part of the question? She said, do you care? Do you care? She said that the mom is going to act accordingly if he loves her. He, a black man can't control his mama. That's right. The, the same way, can your kids control you? No. So what the fuck are we talking about? Right. No. I, would love for, I would love for my mother to like my partner. I would love for that. But some things just don't work out in that. But I have little kids. Like, you can't ask me because I have little kids. My kids are still babies. Maybe when they get older, you know, my opinion might change. No, I get that, but... Still, this is the problem with why most women don't. Oh, let's uh -huh. not go there. No, no, you talking to somebody who's working on their second no, husband. So what you talking about? I don't think yeah, that's but, a compliment but, though. But the, but the, but, the, but, the, but, the, but the, never mind. I would say the first one could be shit. Right. Like we are like working on my second husband. Like, yeah, that's like what I the first one like could have been shit. Thing. Like like that's my problem. Okay, so let's talk about that. Why do women feel like? As long as they had a husband, they could say, yeah, I did all that, but I got a husband, though. It's like, he ain't shit. He ain't shit. The relationship ain't good. He can't no, shit. But, no, just, but, but I'm sorry. Listen. But no, Ray, I ain't gonna lie to you. Why are we even giving him that much credit? What you mean he ain't shit? Maybe she wasn't shit. Uh, you saying like, so it's like, like that. So like, like, yeah. like, or it could be like, yeah, I'm working on my second husband. Yeah, because you a piece of shit. You ain't working on yourself yet. You need to be working on yourself. Oh. And Jay Hill has oh. shut oh, the right. show. Down. I want to have a stand up for this, this motherfucker. I want to stand up for this nigga. Avoid this conversation. You, you, you right there. He you right there. Hey, the floor is yours. Go. You no, go. I've been trying to avoid it. I'm trying to get back to the point. What I'm saying is the problem with a lot of women that do not acquire a husband think the way what you're saying. Because men are trying to tell you how to acquire a husband, but it's going over your head because you're so stuck on no. what you're trying to say. He's kind of I don't right. agree with yeah. you. Bottom line is this. You know, you, you find one husband, you find another, but that doesn't mean that you made it in life. 
That's that, true. Th- you you might have get the quality of man because I know for a fact you live and you learn though the quality of you ain't gonna come in my life thinking you about to give me some half ass straight up like the money changes but when you, I give you something you already you already made you you I already know, but what, you but I know but so I'm, they know when they come to you they gotta come with that I, shit but what I'm trying to you tell you me? is that I've been the same that's why wait wait I'm what the same person when I was why why do women women think that why would you think that because, because he was okay, he wasn't right there. He was all by how okay. So I don't know how other women think. I could just speak for myself. Go ahead. So when we see you, right, you mm-hmm. might be different than Rick. So okay, I know how I'm approach you because I done sized you up. So I know I have to come for you. And when we talk, your conversation might be different than Ray's. Mm-hmm. So I might come at you a different way than I come at Ray. Every man, we we come at a different way. See, I didn't hear about the conversation. You said he made it. But, so but when saying, you say he made it, so he gonna come he differently. He made it. So he he's basically Ray that nigga. So a woman who gonna come at Ray, they gonna make sure they come and they not gonna. What makes Ray that nigga? They not gonna have stuff. because of his career, his because money, his career, his everything about so, him. So and I'm telling you that. So what are you saying? I'm saying if a woman let him cook, I want to see what he got like to say. Ray like wasn't him. Ray. He wasn't always who he is today. Exactly, and so I'm saying if you we're a lot about of now when I'm right, talking yeah, about yeah, yeah, but I, about I'm saying this is why a lot of relationships don't work out, and I'm not I'm not here to say women or men. I'm not here that I'm mm-hmm. not I'm not with none of that. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying sometimes you gotta love somebody through their growth to For see sure, who they're gonna become. So, but that. a lot of women aren't able to recognize Ray. 20 years ago right. so what they do is they treat him differently and then when right. ray becomes ray ray daniels right the character that he's created over time through his work they think that oh now i can show up differently and it don't work like that because at the end of the day you know a lot of women they they, they stay and they wonder why men leave them when they get successful because you ain't really stay hold, holding me down you was holding me up because a lot of times you were standing around complaining about saying what i wasn't and what i wasn't doing and then when i do make it i get enough confidence to leave your ass because i don't want to i don't want to deal with this so when you say like they're gonna show up differently to Ray Daniels because he oh made it and because who he is, that's bullshit. And I don't want none of you chicks that think like that around. Not that's 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 you from Baltimore, right? Yeah. You well, how long you been in Atlanta for? Almost three years. Okay, so you can't even you don't even know what it's like out there in Atlanta, the dating scene or nothing. It's way different than Baltimore, right? I you believe you agree? I yeah, I believe you. I can't agree to that right you now. Agree? What's the, the difference different? though? What's the difference? Are the women different? I wanna know the difference. I'm sure they are. I they're just they're very different, right? Yeah, I'm So I'm Baltimore sure. women, they'll stay down with you, right? They'll stay down and do all in Atlanta, they everything's transactional, right? Am I he, right or am I he's wrong? Low. I say yes. I said that yes. But but I think what he I think what he's basically saying is 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 if it's not genuine, I don't want it. Right. And I don't want it if cool. it's I don't want it if you're only giving it to me because of who I am. Right. That's why it makes it hard. By the way, that's why it makes it very hard to become the date as the more success you come because now people are like well look at you. And the reality is, is that I still feel like the same dude. Like I bought my girlfriend a car in 19. I bought Yoki a car, but the one car was $500. Mm. And one car was a couple hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. But it was just, but I still bought a car yep. for a woman because that's the kind of man that I am. I don't want no woman riding a bus around me. I want to take care of mine, what, wife or not. I, as a man, I take pride in giving you and taking care of you. And that's probably why I... I, that's probably why I feel like I'm that nigga because I'm going to do it regardless. But if I'm only doing it because I want something, and I think a lot of women are unhappy in life because they're showing up for men hoping that they return the favor. Mm. Y'all letting us down. No, we're mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. We just, no, we're not. No, I, I, I got it. I got it. We're not letting you down. We're not letting you down. We're just not agreeing to pay for it at the price price you asking for that. It's like a stock. I don't want that shit at motherfucking the high. Cause I know that shit gonna dip down. Let me wait till it gets down, and then I buy the. But women also then like. Then I buy a lot of, I I like, of them. I feel like women also. A lot of the hurt from women comes from men that they done dealt with in the past. That but it was the wrong. It was the wrong man. A lot okay. of the hurt. So now, y'all gotta let me finish. Go ahead. So now we in a relationship with somebody like Jay Hill, and we so somebody. traumatized from the last relationship. So like, you know what I'm saying. So do you take out everything that that man did on Jay? But he did none. But he did none to deserve that. Not technically, but we're gonna move different, though. Okay, so ask we're your question. Definitely moving different. I got your question. In this Every relationship you got to step it up. You and I just not. met. You and I just met. I have four kids. Mm-hmm. I'm making half a million dollars a year, but out of my half a million dollars a year, 
I'm sending 400,000 that to 100,000 East to each kid household. Are you still going to be with me knowing that I'm only make, walking home with $100,000? Or are you like, you send them kids too much money? No. Those are your kids. Send them. So I'm sending them 80% them. of our money. You cool with that? I'm cool with that. Those are your kids. I don't believe that. I love, what I don't you either. mean? <laughs> Why not? I, Hold on. Here's my point. My point is this. My point is this. Is I that, would never tell a father you can't do something but, for but, your kids. I don't If you want to give your kids all your money, those are your kids. But what if I'm your man and I'm giving our money away now? That's fine. Those are those are the kids. That's what you want to do with your money. Go ahead, cause I'm gonna make my own. You think you're going for I'm that? I'll make my own money. Hell no. I don't listen. Fuck uh, no. Why, why? We ain't sending them goddamn. The bitches are working in the house and the this. I don't even call. I mean, I don't even call cap on that. I just look at it like so. You you would a a hundred thousand dollar man, but you treat him differently because he brings in five hundred thousand. Whereas though you meet a man with no kids who only makes a hundred thousand dollars, you wouldn't treat him. Yeah, you would treat him like shit. Like so, it's like at the same at the end of the That's day. That's not true. I'm just going off of what you said about him being Ray Daniels and people showing up differently. Listen, again, Wait, I don't... Y'all trying to flip it No, 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 no. no. I, I promise you... one thing that you said that I need to address. Go you ahead, said, Rick. You said dating in Baltimore is different than dating in Atlanta because Atlanta's look. transactional. Explain that to me. So, okay, you have your... You know, the, the dating scene in Atlanta, you come out, every girl has a BBL, every girl going to have a designer bag, designer shoes, I'm a BBL. I'm telling my son this, I'm sorry. They might have been an ex stripper, an ex Instagram model. So now they got their nose stuck a bit up in the air. You know, because that's, that's where the mentality is. At. That's the mentality. Okay, so keep now going. Nose stuck up in and the now air. they got to go to the north side of town and fuck with the Africans. Basically. Now they got to go fuck with the Africans over there on Buford Highway. Hey, I'm, 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 hey, Highway. I'm in Atlanta. I'm gonna be, I already I'm know. Gonna lie to you. I'm going to do in some Baltimore, and it, the difference in Baltimore, <laughs> women, you know, they might meet a man and want to stay down with him so he come up. But they're not doing that in Atlanta. That's not Baltimore. I mean, I up know north, how Baltimore I, I get down. I get that to up north women, period. You know, and that could be anywhere. But Atlanta is a different place. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, though. I ain't really have experience dating. I like this nigga. But, and people might not agree with Are this. Are you married? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep it 100 with you, like, and it's nothing against my city. I love my city. But all of the things you just named, I probably would rather date a woman from, Baltimore. from Atlanta because mm -hmm. she got motion. So if she got all the bags, the BBLs or whatever, I'm assuming she could take care of it by herself. No, no, no. I'm let, me, let me jump in and tell him. I'm just assuming. I got, somebody yeah. somebody oh, got to tell, tell him. Somebody He's not from Atlanta. He's going to get finessed. He's not from Atlanta. I'm going to finesse him. Hold on. I'm going to finesse him. What you don't understand, Jay, is that a man pay for the purse, the BBL, the everything. So, and what I'm saying at that point, then she's a bum. So, if you could never finesse me because I'm, I might, I'm only giving you just like y'all giving you niggas sure play. We, we give you play. So I'm thinking like, okay, cool. She might got some motion. She got, she got the whip. She probably do the credit repair. I don't know all of. So you looking shit. for? Oh, oh, so you been long enough. So you <laughs> been been long you enough. You looking CBS for a sugar mama? mama. So you looking for a sugar mama? No. At this what? Point. No. No. I'm saying that. I, I appreciate I'm saying I appreciate <laughs> The here. woman Who's going to get it On her own That's all I'm saying Well I'm here to tell you That the that's girls it. in Atlanta Are not getting all that they are No somebody else is paid for Somebody it. else is getting it Every that's I'm sorry to do this Let's call it what it is Right Call it Atlanta straight Atlanta is Atlanta is finesse city Yes I Every you. woman in here When you see a woman And you see all expensive Expensive jewels on A man brought it In this city Even if she has the money so somebody she else ain't buying it. that shit Because she a fine chick in Atlanta And she feel like a fine chick in Atlanta Is going to get a man to buy it Your money, uh, my, money, my, money, my, money. my money is my money <laughs> And that is why Atlanta is probably the worst place to date It yeah. really is And that's the why it's transactional because, I believe you Because girls like That think that you know All they got to do is be fine with a fat ass And you got to pay for that Outside of the woman Because I'm, I'm over that I feel like Atlanta in general is transactional I feel like people ask you What's your Instagram What you do all to measure how they can treat you. And I think that's the corniest. That's people, period. Yeah. I was but I Atlanta. think specifically they do that in, in LA. LA. In LA, but yeah. Atlanta is Black Hollywood. Shit. In New York, they don't give a fuck about you. We should. But that's, at all. But that's what at I'm all. saying. You can they, have a million followers. LA, like, we don't give a fuck. Ass in this LA is, we, do, we do not care. LA is Hollywood. LA is Hollywood. Atlanta is a black Hollywood. I feel like in Baltimore, it might be a little bit like that. But if I don't fuck with you, you could tell. In Atlanta, you would never know. It's like. Oh, that's oh. true. Like oh he got but, something because at Atlanta like it's transactional it's all transactional bro as long as you listen if you got a million dollars in Atlanta you get any girl you want mm. it's just how Atlanta works matter of fact and the girls that have money don't want you if you don't have it either mm -hmm. 
Your it's just life. Atlanta. He knows already. By the way, keep go home. <laughs> go to your wife. When you leave here, go home. <laughs> Listen to me. I always tell people, hey, this is not for this city. Ain't for the faint as a heart. Go mm. home. This city will have you doubting yourself. Yes, it will. It'll have your wife doubting you. It'll have your kids looking at you like, what are we doing? It'll have you fucked up because mm. it's a whole lot of people here that are here just for the Hollywoodness. That's why I live in Fayetteville. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want, I'm being, I don't want to be around Listen, transacting. Man, like, work my, hard, be proud, but stay out the way, man. Don't get up in the shenanigans, man. Do we have a Godfather question? Yes, we do have a Godfather question. Last Godfather question. question. Got, Godfather question. Last so, question. Uh, this is a Godfather. So a mother heard her son on the phone telling his girlfriend what to do, and she stepped in and reminded her that she doesn't have to listen to a man with no money in the bank. That goes back to that we're black woman shit that we just argued about. Yep. That's the mentality <laughs> yes. that we're fighting against. A woman saying, don't listen to him unless he's paying for you. That's the problem with our community. It is. Money is everything and we don't have none. Mm -mm -mm. How's that? How's that? We got and, to, we got, go and people don't want to work to get it. No, they don't. Don't nobody want to work no more. Everybody want to hustle. Well, finesse. And finesse. Well, you know, they, well, there it is. What so, do you want me to say? What do so how do y'all We just talked about it. You just doubled down on it and tripled down on it. You were just the person driving it home. Now you're like, that's how it is. You're the person that was I mean, I, again, I saw, I guess playing devil's advocate, I feel like, man, you want somebody, just like I said with the woman, you want somebody that got some type of motion. And it ain't, if we take the money aspect out of it, a lot of times money is the measurement of your hard work. Mm -hmm. the work that you put in no right? money's a measurement of the, your of your brain mentality there are a lot of people that work hard as fuck every day Facts. For sure. or is the measurement of you being successful doing something with yes, yourself for sure right so i can understand from a little bit if that makes sense what do you understand that like don't listen to a nigga if he don't have money right Oh, I'm, no, you I'm playing talk, devil's yeah, advocate. You talking about the mother telling her son? Okay. Yeah, I'm playing yeah. devil's advocate because a lot of times the person with money had to prove himself but to be somebody. There was young kids. Let me add that. There was younger kids. So she's telling... She's, she's been, programming. Yeah, she's programming. Yeah. 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 So my, 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 my verbiage wouldn't be... My verbiage wouldn't be yeah. money, right? It would be somebody that got something going for themselves. But a lot of times the person that got something going for themselves is going to have a couple of dollars. Of course, not all the time. I mean, of course. But I'm just saying, like, I, I would just change the verbiage. You feel me? Like, I feel like a lot of the way women think, if you really just change the word and the verbiage of it, I feel like it, it still matches. Because you want a, a guy, you don't want no bum. No. Right? If you meet a guy who got something going for himself, he going to be having some money or, or on his way to some money. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, but when you say things like money is a quick turn off, it's like, oh, no, nah, you was just in it for the money. Yeah. But honestly, I mean, any nigga you deal with that got something going on that that's, 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 that cares about himself is going to be successful eventually, even if he's not then that then. How much hmm. or what rank? What do you rank money on the importance of like hmm. what you have to have from a man? That's like a how question. important is money? Mm, this shit fifty fifty. Fifty fifty with what? With every, with the money with everything. No no no. So that means money is number one or two top two. Um, number two. What's number one? The the way you treat me and the love that you give, the way you treat Damn. me and the respect and the way you treat me is number one. Okay. And then mm -hmm. the money will be number two because I'm really big on respect. But what if he treats you good and he don't have no money? Like what if he like? What about character? God, he's nice damn. Personality, character, shit. all that. This nigga's funny as fuck. He said, "What about character? God damn!" Like, <laughs> hey, think yeah, 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 what about morals? Real talk. All like, that morals that comes with respect. That comes in the respect. It category. doesn't though. It does because respect is so subjective. I'm sorry. No. Respect is so subjective in the way the way that I the way I what I deem respectful the way I treat myself I might be still learning how to love myself and if I'm not loving myself the way you want if I'm not loving myself the way I need to love myself I damn sure can't love me I think any person who's in a relationship should learn how to love their self first I don't that, care I mean that sounds good but what I'm saying we are all Thank black you. you know what I'm saying like we come from some traumatic shit I'm pretty sure some shit that you didn't, oh, sure. that you that you've been through that you still working out as an adult sure. right so all I'm saying is when they, when you say respect that's so tricky because it's subjective right and I might be talking to you we, we not we might not just see eye to eye I might be talking to you the way that I I know I'm from Baltimore you from New York right I'm so, from Boston you from Boston mm -hmm. so we might have different 
character traits of how we deal with our people, right? I might be just talking to you how I talk to my people from home, and you might be thinking that's disrespectful. But guess what? I've been a, a an adult or a person, a being, a human, longer than I've been in a relationship. So that takes some time to unlearn, right? It takes it, it takes longer to build a habit than, than, than or break the build a habit than to break one, about right? The respect. Yeah, I'm okay. saying like the when we say respect just in, in, in as as a as a whole. So I'm saying we gotta be careful with that because when you say like morals, integrity, that comes with it. It doesn't because I could be a great man, but not a great man to you. I can be a great man, but not a great boyfriend. But you respect me though, right? Would but I'm telling you that though, right? I'm telling you that I could respect you to my best to the best of my ability and you might still not think is enough. Well then that's not the respect that I'm looking for then. So what's thought? So that doesn't. That's what I'm saying. That's all. I'm, it's subjective. It's, it's that's not it. The, he just wants. He just wants you. To, he just wants you to be a nicer, sweeter, more loving, uh, God fearing woman. No, okay. I don't. I don't want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to do that. I, you cool. I have got, I'm. I'm a very. No, no, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm not saying I don't want you to I do that. I've been. Trust me. I'm a very respectful, God fearing woman. But you know, as a woman, you need that money. I need them. So if you no, had listen, I don't listen. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care because I done took care of men before. I done did stuff for men before. But guess what? I won't do it again because guess what? They didn't get me nowhere. No, uh, uh-uh, I ain't doing it no more. So what if you meet a, a man with no money? Cause that's fifty fifty. You meet a man with That's, no money, he, but he don't he has, need. If he has goals and he actually has a plan, but I'll support him. You on didn't that. say that. You, you didn't said, ask me. You said he said top. You said money fifty fifty. You said, I said respect I said, then money. I said respect then money. But you now you're saying that if he has goals that if don't have nothing to do with respect or money. Lead us to the money, that's cool too. What if he just wants to be a school teacher? <laughs> Straight up, no, no that's that's nigga real talk. Crazy. That's real talk. I mean, that's a goal. <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, so, so let me just really good school. Let teacher. me just get the women some advice. An ambitious man is an ambitious man. An ambitious man, but no, a, not an ambitious no, school let teacher. Me <laughs> she is let me crazy. finish. Let me finish. And an an ambitious man is an ambitious man. Mm-hmm. If he wants to make a lot of money, that means he probably wants to buy a lot of things and do a lot of things. Usually, one of those things that he wants to have is women mm. because he got money now. So what I'm telling you is that if for you to, have to for you to be with a conqueror, you're gonna have to meet him at a certain time in his life and roll with him on that mission. That's right. If you want to be with him, but y'all be wanting the women be wanting this. Like it's like I saw a woman say this woman say she wanted two hundred thousand dollars. I'll work with that. Like what the fuck is what? wrong with y'all? No, no, no. I'm being real with you. Like what the fuck Realistic. is wrong with women right now? Where they think money grows on trees six figure guys he spends his money on me like we are going down such a rabbit it's hole in our black Instagram. community hit me out we're going down such a rabbit hole in our black community with fucking each other yes up and women and their expectations like i'm a manager first thing is first job job, job description is to, is to manage expectations you know how hard it is to be in a relationship with somebody that expects you to give them to have gold pouring from the sky and money growing from the trees and every vacation when they want and all the other shit and don't like come on man what the fuck are, makes you super mm. it's you just think because you fucking and sucking like come on no. like it's like it's, like, it's, it's incredible it's to me but you not. can do all of that and it still won't be enough. Hit me out. Right. No, no, I get that. But what I'm saying is, is that Sex what, I, what I'm saying is, is that I expect a lot from a woman I'm in a relationship with. Mm-hmm. That's why I work my ass off. Mm-hmm. That's why I work so hard. And that's why I provide the way I do. Because I expect. You see what I'm trying to say? These people be expecting with nothing. But it's just I got a fat ass. Yeah. So I got a fat ass. I should be taken care of. Fuck. I'm pretty. Somebody should pay my bills. Bugging. What the fuck? How's your soul? And you even, I ain't gonna lie to you. Can we have a conversation? I'm getting tired of the cooking like, and cleaning shit at this point. Me too. <laughs> no, like, no, but no, but no, but real talk, right? 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 No, but real talk, like I think, listen, we have a big disconnect in, in with men and women right now, and uh, and I'm being honest with you. I believe that men have stayed in the same place and women have veered so far away from us that y'all now think six figures. Why are you three hundred thousand? It's not enough. What the? No, since when? No, what it is. Women want men to be traditional, and they want to live modern. Mmm. Talk that. They want us to be traditional, but they want to be modern, and it's never going to. 
You, you know, I think traditional ass down. You need to get your traditional <laughs> ass back down off the motherfucking modern fucking uh, ladder and get your they ass down. They want traditional. It didn't come from it. And, and you better understand. They don't know what it is. They heard somebody else say traditional. But I ain't gonna lie to so you. Know I, they think, I, I think they don't even know they men, want. They only know what they want. Like, but I think, like, like, like dog, sometimes, like I like, like I'm a Knicks fan. I like Knicks. I like what I like. Like I'm being honest with you. Whatever I like, I actually like it. I don't want it mm-hmm. because Joe said it. Right. I don't want it because Chad said it. I just want it because I want it. Right, I don't see no man like I have not seen a man. I swear to God, get treated good on Instagram. And I thought to myself, why well, don't get that? Hmm. Facts. I've never seen that in my life. If I if I see a man getting treated good on Instagram, I'm like, damn, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Good for yeah. him. But a woman that see that, they be like, oh my god, that. why my, why man, my ain't, man ain't doing that for me? What the? F- <laughs> but what I was gonna say, I think I'm not gonna lie to you, and this is kind of what you were saying. I think a lot of men. I ain't gonna say most. I think a lot of men want to be traditional though. Like that's even when, we when we, yeah, when no, she said, when she, we, we were taught that, but we, yeah. we, 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 our counterparts are not traditional yeah. and our counterparts think, you know, they think they walking around with a million dollar vagina. You know what I'm saying? Like a, 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 imagine a man saying, I got a million dollar dick, but he broke. Like nigga, yeah. imagine how crazy that is. I got a million dollar dick. For real, how much money you got? There's broke <laughs> niggas that say that all the time. I don't know one. Yeah, that's not my. I've never crazy. heard that term. I've never heard yeah, that term yeah, in my Atlanta. life. Listen, we in no Atlanta, way. but I ain't around no broke niggas in Atlanta, so they ain't but talking I, but like my, that. But my point is, is that women think just because they're fine, you should do for them. That shit has to stop. Yes, yeah, it does. I agree. Just because you got a fat ass don't mean you should get something nice. But like, they you, can't stop I feel like every, thinking that way. They should have way. their own motion regardless. But they can't. They can't. They won't motion stop thinking that way effort. because there's so many men. Say that again. Who's gonna give them <laughs> what they want because they are fine? Take your <laughs> mic, man. Motion requires effort. Motion requires effort. <laughs> Nobody good. is giving effort no more. We have to make effort cool. But we we don't have we. I just feel like that's it's hard to say because things get easier and easier. The more niggas get money, the more they're going to give the fine women money because why? It's easy to to get it, and a lot of times we don't want the extra the extra stuff that come with women, like the the complaining. So it's like yo. Yeah, I'll buy your bag because that little five thousand dollars ain't nothing to me when I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a couple million. I buy your bag, get some pussy. I don't need to hear from you every single day. You ain't got to get on my nerves. That's easy. So now when the woman understands that she can get that, but she ain't gonna stay with that. Now she requires the regular guy or the guy that's not making that much money to do the same thing, and that's where we get a disconnect. Yeah, like how, but like how, how, how is regular niggas surviving? Facts. Real talk. I feel like every nigga gotta be an entrepreneur, have a six figure job too, also have businesses, have ass like have assets like like what the right Facts. Not they not. They're getting swallowed. They're getting swallowed. Pause. The beast is the shit. Oh. God damn. <laughs> what? No. What was said? Hey. Oh, go ahead. You had another topic. Huh? You said you had No, I was I was Rick, he has something that he wanted to talk about. Switching to another topic. Uh, French Montana, if news came out, he's the highest streaming artist from New York. York. No, period. His song is the hardest streaming song. Unforgettable. Rap history. Unforgettable. Which I'm not surprised because the record was a monster. That's incredible. Congratulations. Good thing. Congratulations to French. That shit's fire. Yeah. That, that, was a New, that was a New Yorker giving New York problem. Yeah. If that I shit, had to let him take the throne. Came from, <laughs> if that shit came from New Jersey, he wouldn't have mentioned it. If that was Joe Budden, he wouldn't have mentioned nothing. And where's he from? The Bronx. Where are you from? The Bronx. Are we done with the show? Yeah. <laughs> that's it? Uh, no, no, no. No, that's it. That's it. We've been... It's, we went to Godfather and all that. What is... This the culture uh, report. You was. <laughs> this the culture report. Shout out to our sponsors. Like, it's okay. One day we're gonna have another female on this couch right here, and we gonna. Never. You did good though. You did, you I know. I, I don't. I can handle myself. I have eight brothers. Oh wow. You wanna. You wanna end the show. This is the culture report. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs>